Hi friends and family. Tonight's Thursday Night Thought is a continuation of last week when I shared about sexuality and jealousy. And I shared my personal story of an experience that I had with other women and the connection that I could feel between these other women and my husband and the jealousy that I had towards that. Well, this was a really hot topic and brought up a, a, a lot of questions and I received private messages throughout the week. And I thought it would be really fun to have a male's perspective of jealousy and that spark of attraction. So I asked my husband, William Bieber, to come here this evening into our home and talk about this. Talk about your perspective of jealousy and sexuality. Have you ever been in that situation before? Well, thank you for inviting me. <laughs> it's a lot of fun yeah, to come on your show tonight. Yeah, the answer is yes. And I'll tell you the male perspective you know, from my standpoint where we had an issue just about a year, maybe two years ago, where I came across um, uh, your Facebook account and happened to be open on the computer that we're looking at and working on on vacation. And you had been trying to find out more information and in writing your book about spirituality and sexuality mm -hmm. and you reached out to a mutual contact who had knowledge on spirituality and sexuality and so he appeared to be helping you at first that's what the way the Facebook posts read but after a few days or weeks of these Facebook posts he started going into a little bit more intimate detail and in fact, he kind of crossed the boundaries at some point with a little, I guess you would say, exploration. And you responded mm -hmm. because you were trying to explore a little bit of your sexuality, and I get that. And as I read the Facebook posts, I can tell you, I became pretty angry. And what were you angry about? What, what was that? Well, I became angry that one, another man would disrespect me that way, and two, that you would continue that energy because here's what happens, and we see it over and over and over again, which is anytime a man and a woman start talking about things, it creates a very specific energy and an excitement. And I'm talking, in this case, it was with a different man, mm -hmm. a different man than your husband. Mm -hmm. And it, it kind of went into a realm of flirtation mm -hmm. that may have been innocuous. But when I read into that, it made me very, very upset because I didn't want to destroy our relationship mm -hmm. and I didn't want it to continue. So fear is what you experienced. That was your first reaction to jealousy. Um, be seeing that spark of attraction or that that flirtation like you said and that immediately led to fear of our relationship right and it made me wonder and question and say oh my gosh is she having an affair is she you know you know is she looking for something outside of the marriage mm -hmm. and so fear is a natural reaction and then the next step for me was denial, where I got introverted and I said, well, you know, maybe it's, maybe it's not real, maybe, and I started to withdraw a little bit, and I said, no, no, I, that's not who I am. I'm a person who, I'm not going to let another man take my wife, and I'm going to communicate with Andrew about it. And I grew angry. She was still sleeping. I, it was, I was up early, early, early with our son, John. And when she woke up, I said, you know what? I'm not going to deal with it by internalizing. I'm going to deal with it by communicating. And that's exactly what we did. Mm -hmm. And did you feel that that communication was healthy? That was something that benefited? I, I know I talked to you several times 
about the other women and my feeling between the attraction. And I think communication is the most important thing because it allows to, to know where you're at with those feelings and to know where you're at in the relationship is really, really important. Well, the most important thing was that you allowed me to express exactly how I was feeling Absolutely. with the feelings of jealousy. I told you I was angry. I told you I was upset. I told you that you can't do these things. That you know, you're you're heading down a really negative path, mm -hmm. where it can affect our relationship, our marriage, our kids, our whole world. And I think jealousy is actually. We've talked about it being a negative. I think jealousy is actually looking at it now, it's actually a very positive. Mm -hmm. Because jealousy is just a signal of your intuition. Mm -hmm. Jealousy is saying there's something here that I need to be aware of. Mm -hmm. Maybe I need to open my eyes a little bit more. Maybe I need to maybe I need to pay a little bit more attention. Maybe I need to make more comments. Sweetheart, you look beautiful today. Um, maybe I need to buy flowers. Maybe I need to, you know, there are so many positive things that can come from jealousy that in just talking about it tonight, I didn't really realize how important something like that is. Yeah. But I think it's important to a relationship. I agree. I definitely agree. And I think one of the things... Um, because it sounds very similar that that fear comes in first and it's that feeling of ownership that we who someone's going to take my husband away or someone's going to take my wife away but um you know my belief is is that it we're not we don't own one another we're still individuals and we're still um we both have free will yeah we both have free will we both um have that that spark of energy within ourselves and we're both very confident in our sexuality now but at the time when we weren't communicating about those things and we were just internalizing or i was internalizing um i think that's what caused a ton of the problems and i think it it's the non-communication that is the issue because if you you can't communicate about those difficult feelings then it is easy to have a relationship on the side to to meet those intimate needs and I agree with you I think that jealousy is that spark of intuition almost saying hey pay attention here it's not necessarily the most negative thing it can be very positive and that there will always be beautiful women and opportunities of availing itself and men it's just that is life but in order to stay in our um space of honoring our marriage and honoring our relationship i believe the way we do that best is through communication so and it's interesting when we look back at the times where you were most jealous of me mm -hmm. And the women that I was talking to, did you communicate it to me? At first, no, because I That's held right. that inside. That's right. And then later on down the road, I did when I was just tired, tired of dealing with that feeling. I was tired of having that. And by the time I was able to express it to him, that was actually one of the biggest releases for me because I wasn't, it, it, I was no longer hiding in a closet dealing with that feeling. I was actually able to express it and Will understood that and appreciated that. And I think it's a human nature. I think it's human nature to become jealous, especially when you're in a committed relationship. But again, it's that communication that is so important. And yeah, I learned, I learned a great lesson for sure. I think we both did. Yeah. If you were to say, Jealousy is a good thing or jealousy is a bad thing. What do you think? Well, I think it's a matter of perspective and I think it's a matter of 
of perspective of the situation. And in our case, I think jealousy was a good thing. It made me look within myself and have that big revelation that I wasn't connecting to my own sexuality as a woman. So I do see what I went through in respects with jealousy as a good thing. And like you were talking about being an indicator or some type of warning signal for the relationship. I, I really think it is. Yeah. I, I think jealousy jealousy is and it happens with both men and it happens with women. I see it uniformly, which is it is your spidey sense, it is your intuition tingling, saying something's not right here. Hmm. And maybe we need to address it. And if you ignore that, if you say to yourself, are you jealous? Why are you jealous? And get angry at yourself and, and internalize the, that. The first thing you say is, well... It, it must be me. Mm-hmm. It's, oh, it's a negative thought. No, no, no. I, I'm not jealous. But, man, I'm so jealous. Well, there is a reason why. Your Correct. intuition is going off saying, there's something wrong here, and I need to address it. And trust it. Yeah. I, I really, the more that we talk about this, <laughs> the more I think jealousy is is one of the most positive things that can happen in a respectful relationship. Absolutely. Well, thank you. Great topic. (laughs) It's awesome. Thank you for sharing your perspective. I appreciate it. You're welcome. And hopefully this is something that can lead you deeper in understanding sexuality and jealousy and relationships. And like I said, this topic could go on forever. So I appreciate you tuning in. Until next week. (laughs) So I appreciate you tuning in and thank you for sharing your perspective with us. You're welcome. Thank you. And I look forward to sharing our next Thursday night thought together. Thank you. Bye-bye.